Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne, and today I'm going to show you what I am packing for my seven day Alaskan cruise. First, we are heading to Anchorage. We are staying the night in Anchorage. Then we are boarding a train that will take us to Seward, Alaska. And then we are boarding our cruise in Seward, Alaska. We will be sailing on a seven day cruise southbound through Alaska and we will be disembarking in Vancouver. We then will have a day in Vancouver spend the night and the next day we will be flying back here to Denver. So I have quite a few things packed because it is a rather long vacation. It's 10 days total and we have a variety of things that we will be doing. We have several excursions booked. Obviously we have formal nights on the cruise. Um, we also have walking around Vancouver, different kinds of things like that, exploring. So I have one full large suitcase. I have a carry-on suitcase with wheels that is um, halfway full of my husband's stuff. Then I have a backpack here with the uh, travel pillow for on board the flight. And last, but certainly not least, a fanny pack. What is it the kids these days call them? Uh, but of course, this is full of my uh, money and documents and things, and it will be on my person. Let's jump into all the things I'm packing for our cruise. Okay, so I am going to start with the big suitcase first. Um, so first I have a toiletry bag. This is like in shower in bathroom toiletry bag This is going to be checked this suitcase So I didn't have to worry about any of the liquid rules because this one will be checked So of course we have a toothbrush. I still need to add my husband's toothbrush um, We have a pack of loofahs some poo-pourri If you know, you know, I have heard that this is an important must do for cruises because you're in such a tiny cabin if you catch my drift. So I am kind of thinking, why have we never packed this before on any vacation? Because when you're in a hotel room, it's the same thing. Um, you will die of your husband's stink. So this is my little tip for you, my friends. Next, I have just a bar of soap for, you know, body wash. I put it in the bag that way when it's like wet, it will, you can just put it in the bag and we'll be good. Floss, toothpaste, pretty boring things, shampoo and conditioner, a razor and shave cream. Oh, I actually have an additional conditioner as well. I have very long hair, if you can't tell, and I need a lot of conditioner, so I actually have two conditioners. I just have, like, it's a micellar cleanser. Um, it's just for, like, the days that I have heavy makeup, and then some face moisturizer. So next, in this bag, I have some, like, sort of snacks. Um, I have some Ritz crackers. I like to eat these on the plane because I get plane sick. So I'll just have some of these. Something in my belly helps me not, you know, feel so nauseous. Um, so these are actually for the way back. Um, the ones that are for the way there are in my carry-on bag. I have some packs of just some nut butter packs. This is just an easy way to get protein. Um, you know, we're going to be hiking and stuff like that. And I just wanted a couple of things that I could just throw in my backpack in case I got hungry. I also have these. So these are ginger juice drink tea mixes. They're from Trader Joe's. Um, I've never actually had these before, but number one, we're going to be on the cruise. So obviously seasickness is a big thing. Ginger helps with that. I also get migraines. And if I take ginger... Um, it will prevent the migraine, which is like a miracle cure. So I have all the ginger things. So on top of that, I have an actual jar of ginger here. Um, I saw a YouTube video of a gal that put this in like some ginger ale and drank it and it helped her not be seasick. So I'm hoping between, you know, one of these ginger things, I will not be seasick and or have a migraine. And then last but not least, I just, I always take a couple of like electrolyte um, powder things. Again, it helps my migraines, um, but it also just helps if you're hiking a lot, um, those kinds of things. And then this one is the immune support as well, because I also always take some sort of emergency or immune support when I travel because you are around so many people and so many germs and you're traveling, your sleep schedule's whacked up, you know, your eating schedule's messed up, all the things. So it's just better that way because then, you know, you're just supplementing your body with the things that you need so that you don't get sick. Let me show you the rest of my toiletries, even though it's on the other side of the suitcase, um, because I think for cohesiveness, that would be better. So this is my like hair and makeup toiletry bag. 
I got this at Target, by the way, if you're interested. They have a beautiful, like, seafoam green of this bag there right now, which I'm kind of wish I'd got that one. Um, but I like the pink one as well. So, anyway, inside this bag, um, bug spray, which is important. Again, hiking. Wrinkle release. This is the downy wrinkle release. Um, we have formal nights on the cruise, and I have several dresses, which you'll see in a second here. So, I want to make sure that I have that. Um, some baby powder. Sometimes I use it for dry shampoo. Uh, it's also helpful for like if you, okay, this is probably like TMI, but like if you're trying to fit into like some heels or something and your feet are a little sweaty, just put a little baby powder in there and then you'll slide in real easy. So I do have some formal shoes. Um, so, you know, top tip. I have a lint roller again for formal night. And then of course I have this manicure pack. I bring this with me everywhere. It just stays in my um, travel suitcase. So this is actually really nice because it has three compartments. So it has one here, it has a zipper case in the middle, and then it has one here. So I kind of divide my stuff. So on the other side, I have a brush. This is a Tangle Teaser brush. Get it. Get it. So good. I have some bobby pins, hair ties, and also a little clip. Um, cotton swabs, cotton pads. I have a thing of these miracle patches. Wait, is that upside down? That's upside down. So, you know, in case you get a zit. I have a little first aid kit in here as well. So in my little first aid, I need to get like a bag for this. But anyways, um, so I've got some Tylenol, Advil. I've got Bonine, Bonine, which is like a seasickness medicine. I've got some Tums. I've got some blister pack thingies, earplugs, antibiotic cream, band-aids. Also some moleskin as well. I've never needed to use my moleskin even when we went to Disney, but you know. Doesn't hurt to have. And last but certainly not least, this is my little compact for all of my jewelry. It's probably messed up. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh yeah, the necklaces are. The necklaces like struggle to stay in the little catch. So this is what it looks like inside. So the little necklaces, you hang them here, but they don't really stay in this pocket. So they often come right out and then tangle with my other jewelry, which is rude. But I have some earrings here. I put them in the ring thing. And then I have some additional earrings here. Just, you know, different kinds of things for formal night. Some things like that. I also have these big hoops. One just fell. Let me get it. So that's sort of the jewelry. I also will be wearing, I'll be wearing these earrings and then I think a necklace um, on the plane. But this is additional jewelry because your girl likes her accessories. So that's sort of the toiletries so now let's move on to the clothes so i sort of used a combination of some packing cubes and some non-packing cubes for the smaller pieces of clothing it was easier to use the packing cube so i used it for those but for the rest of my stuff i just rolled it up you'll see um so in this first packing cube this is like my swim cube um you might be thinking you're going on alaskan cruise why do you have a swimsuit um because they have hot tubs on the cruise yo so i really want to go in the hot tub and have a little champagne in the hot tub the thing um, so this is just a swim cover up. It's just a shirt I got from Target, but it's like a long, um, like menswear shirt. So I use that as a cover up. Then I have my swim top here and I have some swim bottoms. These are like bikini bottoms. And then I also have some like shorts bottoms. Um, wait, what is that? Oh no, these are the shorts. Um, so if I want to wear these bottoms instead because it's cold or whatever. Oh, I have messed up this whole packing cube. Um, and then these are actually just a spare set of yoga pants um, that I forgot were in here. So I think they're in the wrong box. So I'm just going to move them to a different cube. Okay, so next in this next cube, I have, these are sort of my ad hoc clothing, my additional pieces of clothing, not my complete outfits. So I have a pair of like Chub Rob Spanx shorts. Again, that's for formal night. I also have a sort of tank top shirt here. It's really beautiful. It's like ribbed. Um, I have another sort of crop top here. And then finally, a last crop top. So I don't know if I'm going to be wearing all of these shirts, but I thought it would be beneficial to bring them just in case because if something happens, like if I spill on one of my shirts, which happens sometimes, or if I like get decide that I don't want to wear that or whatever, um, I have some options. Okay, so next, another little cube. Several masks, 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 masks are not required, but um, I like to wear these like on the plane or the train or basically whenever I'm sitting really close to somebody, I don't know. So have a couple of those. I also have one in my carry-on. Um, I have some spare undies because you never know. Not, you know, just sometimes it's nice when you've gone hiking, you come back, 
you're putting your formal wear on, you want to change your undies, get freshened up. You know, not that I was saying I would have an accident, but you know, maybe that happens. Some people, you know, we're not judging. We're a judge-free zone here, my friends. So, and then I also have a couple of sports bras. So I have two additional sports bras in here. So the way that I've done it with my outfits is each outfit has a top, a bottom, a bra, and then undies. But so these are just my additional, my spare. I like to just have spares because sometimes you know i might wake up and i'd be like oh, i don't want to wear that bra or like ooh, those undies don't work with that you know the pair of pants or whatever another little big cube socks i actually have a variety of socks in here so i have a couple um i have three really long nike socks for like hiking days um things like that i have several ankle socks um for like when i'm wearing my tennis shoes and then I also have some of these. These are like kind of like dress, dress socks, but I also wear them with my hiking boots because um, they're really thin and they just, you know, they don't like overwhelm my feet. Sometimes when you put a really thick sock on and then you put your hiking boot on, you just feel like boxed in. Does anybody else feel like that? I actually have 10 outfits, one for each day. Um, one I'll obviously be wearing on the day that we leave. Um, and then I have a couple in my carry-on and I'll explain why in a second. But these are the ones we're going to go over the ones that are going to go in my checked luggage. So first, um, oh, and I should explain, I have just, I followed an outfit formula here. So everybody says when you go to Alaska, you should bring layers. I'm from Colorado. It gets pretty cold here. So I'm not super worried about being cold. We're going, our trip is the very beginning of June. Um, so I think the weather is going to be okay. I think it'll be on par with like spring here in Colorado. Um, I've been looking at the weather reports. The only thing that I think is different is that it's going to be raining a lot. It obviously doesn't rain very much here in Colorado. Um, although the past few months have been an exception. We've had so much rain. Anyways, um, so I wanted to follow the formula of having layers, but also because I live in an area that's relatively cold and I'm pretty used to the cold, I didn't want to be overwhelmed with layers. So what I've done is each outfit has like a pair of pants, yoga pants, jeans, whatever. And then I have like a top and it's, it's going to be a top like without sleeves or short sleeves or like a crop top or something that's a little bit lighter. And then I have like to over it sort of like a shacket or like a large, um, like a heavy shirt or something like that as sort of like to go over. Um, and then of course I have a rain jacket and like a puffer jacket, which I'll show you as well. So that's sort of the outfit formula outfit formula that I have followed for all of these outfits. So you will see a common theme among these outfits. So this first roll, I have, this is like just a tank top. This is gonna be my first layer. Then I have a pair of yoga pants. I have my bras and my undies in here as well. My bra and my undies. And then this is like the over the top sort of a flannel and it has like red in it. Um, so that matches like that undershirt. This is one that's all black. So I have like a little tank top here. Let me show you because you can't really see. It's just a tank top, um, but it's like a short cropped tank top. And then I have my yoga pants and then obviously bra, bra and undies in here as well. And then this is my like overlay. It's um, a corduroy shacket uh, and that's gonna go with this outfit. So it's all black underneath with the corduroy shacket on top. And um, I'm gonna reuse that corduroy jacket. A couple of these like outerwear pieces I might reuse a few times because they're kind of like jackets, like you can wear them more than once. Um, so I'm probably gonna use it for this outfit, which is a pair of jeans here. And then of course, bra and undies, and then um, a like cropped, you can't really see because it's upside down, but like a cropped shirt here. Um, and then this is obviously a, like a lighter outfit because it's a short sleeve shirt. So I will probably use that jacket, the corduroy one, um, as like a cover up for this if I am cold. Okay, this is for a cold day. This is a, like a flannel jacket that I have. It's very thick. It's almost like a coat really. It's not exactly a jacket. It's more of like a jacket. Um, and then the outfit combo that I have here is this is just like a ribbed tank top, kind of like an army green color. Then I have a pair of jeans obviously bra and undies inside and then um, this is the jacket that I have for this outfit combo so this one is like a pink cardigan that I have and another outfit combo so we have just a white tank top a pair of jeans and then this um, what is this cardigan it's a cardigan 
I literally just said it. The reason why I've decided like I've put bra and undies inside each like package of clothing is because if you're wearing like a white tank top, you need to be wearing a white bra underneath of it. If you're wearing like high rise jeans, then you can wear like high rise undies. If you're wearing low rise jeans, then you can't wear high rise undies because they peek out the back. You see what I mean? So what I've done is I like laid out all my undergarments and then I kind of like corresponded that to each outfit. Daisy is nestling in my clothing over here. Um, I corresponded that to each outfit so that I would be wearing like the appropriate undergarments for each outfit because that way all I have to do is pick an outfit roll, put it on. I don't have to think like, oh shoot, I wore my white bra yesterday. Oh no, I gotta wash it. You know I me, mean? it's too much mental work for me. This um, outfit combination, I have this little belt. I got this belt at Walmart, y'all. It is so cute. Um, it's like an army green color, love it. And this one is like one of the exceptions to the like shacket rule that I am following. A shirt, this is a long sleeve shirt, so I didn't really think that I needed a shacket with it or like an over, like an overlay top. Um, so it's just, it, this is a cropped shirt though, but the jeans are pretty high rise. Um, so then we've got our jeans there. So I thought that would be fine. That'd be a fine outfit, but I do need the belt for these jeans. So that's why the belt corresponds with, Milo is just ripping it over there. Literally, I'm trying to film. Uh, the, the belt corresponds with the outfit. So there's that. And then this is the last outfit that I have in my case now. This is another exception to the rule. This is like, I think a travel day outfit or something like that. I can't really decide because it's white yoga pants, which I usually don't wear super often, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. I needed, I needed another pair of pants and this is what I had. Then I have a bra, undies, of course. And then this is the, uh, it's a sweater. It's got strawberries and cherries on it. It's upside down, I'm sorry. Um, and so that's another one. That's just kind of like an easy, warm outfit combo. This is like my formal wear and PJs. So in this case, I have a strapless bra. I'm sorry I can't open this because they all fall out. I have a um, like really beautiful bishop sleeve dress here. Then I have sort of a, um, this light pink one, you can't really see it. It's like a corset puff sleeve dress. And then this blue one is just like an easy cotton sundress type of thing. We'll be vlogging the whole trip, so you'll see all of these dresses. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really take them out and try them on. I had to steam them all, and then I had to fold them all to put them in the case. And like, I don't want to mess with it at all. Like, they're done. Also, pre please pray for me, because after I spent, like, not even joking, three hours steaming my dresses, I obviously had to put them straight into my suitcase, so they're probably gonna get all wrinkled again. Um, but you know what? That's why we have the downy wrinkle erased and we're gonna pray that they don't get wrinkled again. But what could I do? Like, it is what it is. And you can't bring a steamer on a cruise, by the way. They're forbidden. Forbidden. So that's my um, formal wear. I do have another formal wear outfit that's going in my carry-on. I'll show you that in a bit. So then, um, this is just like PJs and that type of thing. Oh, I have my hat in here. So I have like a little baseball cap. I have a rain jacket. Um, so this is like a full length, not full length, but like goes pretty far down, covers my butt. Um, and it also has a hood. So this is, I think, going to be necessary. And for formal night, I have these little sandals here. Um, and then here are my hiking shoes. I can't reach the other ones. So um, here they are. These are the Hoka something. So that is all that's going in my checked bag. Um, I do have a couple games, Skippo, Boggle, and then I have a thing of sunscreen. These are going in Alex's bag though. Um, so that's my checked bag. I forgot to show you a couple of things that were like hidden in the secret pouch in my um, suitcase. They're not secret. I just put them there like to be out of the way. Um, so first is, this is the luggage scale. You like put it around your suitcase and then, well, uh, there we go. And then you clip it and then you have your husband hold it because your suitcase is really heavy and you can't. And then it will tell you the weight of the suitcase. We bring this with us on every trip. This is the best $7 I ever spent in my life. I bought it on Amazon. And this is a really great way to know how much your suitcase weighs before you get to the check-in port and they weigh it for you and then you freak out because your suitcase weighs too much. So 
best purchase ever. This is a like port. Um, this is cruise approved though, because apparently you can only bring cruise approved electronic port thingies, surge protected, whatever. Um, they have to be cruise approved. So we have several like of these, like for extension cords that we use around the house, but they have to be cruise approved. So this is a cruise approved one. <laughs> then I have a couple of Ziplocs. Just, you know, I always bring these with us on a trip. This is good for like, if you wanna bring some food back to your room, like a sandwich or whatever from the buffet, or if you have something that exploded and you need to put it in a bag. I think I might actually put a few more of these in there. Um, then I have a couple of gallon bags. So first I have some trash bags. This is how we take our dirty clothing back. We put this in the put them in the trash bags and then put them in the suitcase. Um, and then I have a spare gallon bag, again, just in case. And then what I have here, this is a bag and these are sponges and I put detergent on the sponges and then I let the detergent dry and then I cut the sponges up. So what you can do, I saw this in a cruise um, like hacks video and you can do this for any vacation that you go on. It doesn't have to be a cruise, anywhere where you need to do your own laundry. So you take the bag, you put just one of these little soap blocks in there, some hot water, your garment, and then you shake it up and do the, you know, and then you're washing your garment and then you just rinse it out and then you hang it up. If there's anything that gets dirty or you want to rewear again or if you have children, um, obviously that's a great thing to do for that. Okay, so next I am going to walk you through my carry-on suitcase. <laughs> Here it is. The reason why we decided to bring checked luggage and a carry-on luggage suitcase is because when we went to Disneyland last fall, our luggage got lost. It was a whole mess. If you want to go back and watch those vlogs, you certainly can. I'll link them below for you. Um, but basically, now I'm like paranoid about my luggage being lost. Plus, we're going to be gone for so long. We have so many things that we need to bring. Plus, we have like our hiking boots and our jackets and all the things. So the extra space, we just was appreciated. Plus, then I cannot freak out because I have some additional outfits in here in case our luggage gets lost, knock on wood. So I have three outfits in here, plus a pair of PJs, and Alex only has one. I asked him if he wanted more, and he said no, so whatever, that's fine. I will take up the available space. This is my hair styling tool. So I have two, like, day outfits. Um, so again, with, you know, the formula, the outfit formula. A, like, crop top, tank top, it's ribbed, bra and undies, and then a pair of jeans, and then this is, like, my overlay of flannel, again, but it's got, like, pink stripes on it. I also have another shirt packed. This is just like a really loose cropped shirt. Similar outfit combo. So this is that very same tank top that I showed you earlier, the cropped black one. I actually have two um, because I love it. Um, then I have, of course, a bra and then just some black yoga pants. And then I have like a really sort of heavy jean shirt as the overlay. I have one formal day outfit in here because I was like, what if our luggage gets lost? We won't have any formal wear. So I put a formal outfit in here just in case. Um, so this is just like a gauzy blouse with some like kind of pull on slack type material. Actually, when I worked in an office, I used to wear those pants all the time. So that's what they're from. And then for PJs, I have just a pair of shorts and a shirt. And then I also have my PJ socks. Um, and then I have a pair of sandals because again, I like had to freak out about like what <laughs> I can't wear my tennis shoes to formal night. So I brought these sandals. These are actually the sandals that I was gonna wear for the pool, but they are really like small and light and they fit in a carry-on. So I'm just gonna pull the, put these in the carry-on in case if something does happen and I have to end up wearing those to formal night, they're fine. Nothing's gonna happen, but I just like to be anxious about it. So my anxiety friends, you get it. This is a book that I've been wanting to read. So I have that. And then on the next side of the suitcase, let me see if I can open this. Um, so this is, I bring this on every trip we go. I get a new folder for each trip. So this is our, cru our cruise luggage tag. So we have to attach these to our suitcases so that they can board the cruise. Um, so we have several of these. I'm covering up the room number because, you know, safety. Um, and then I have all of my paperwork that I need on my print printout. So I have, um, oh, I lost a paper clip. There it is. It's trying to hide from me get back here so i have a printout of our outgoing flight then i have a printout of our tickets for the railroad then i have a printout of our like cruise boarding the cruise then i have a printout of our excursions then i have a printout of one of the towns we're going to be visiting 
then I have a printout of our Vancouver hotel and a printout of our return flight. And of course, all of this stuff I've saved to all the emails and confirmation stuff I've saved to a little folder, like a subfolder in my email inbox. So I have all that stuff as well if I need to pull it up. But your girl likes her paper copies. So I just have that, keep it in the carry on. Um, can't button this. Just in case. Why is this so hard? Okay. Um, oh, I gotta put the luggage tag back. Um, so I have those in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should mention, we with Celebrity can bring two bottles of wine per person on um, our cruise. So most of the time for most cruises, it's two bottles per stateroom. But Celebrity, it's two bottles per person. So we're bringing wine, y'all. We have four bottles of wine and we're bringing it on. Um, we, Alex and I thought about purchasing the drink package but the way we figured it out is that in order to be worth the money you'd have to have like at least seven alcoholic beverages per day per person and i'm not a really big drinker so that was just kind of a waste of money for us when it comes to a drink package you have to purchase it for everybody in the stateroom and that just really wasn't um something that we wanted to invest in so we're going to of course buy our alcohol that we want on the cruise we'll just buy it a la carte but since we were allowed to bring wine on we were just like yeah let's do it um so we also have those four bottles of wine they're in alex's suitcase though this is a packing cube full of this is my winter coat i somehow managed to stuff it in here um so it's this really nice columbia puffer which is very soft um, and then I also have some gloves and I have the little head wrap thing, you know, you like put around your head like that because my little ears get cold. So I have that. I don't have a hat. I don't really need a hat, um, like a winter hat. I don't like them. They like feel very constricting on my head and my hair, I think because I have thick hair anyways. So I just have one of these. Um, so that's my like winter gear stuff. Then Alex is one outfit that he wanted. He has a pair of pants, a shirt and some socks and undies, that's what he wanted. And I was like, okay, whatever you want, girl. So that's what he's got. And then I I slipped his rain jacket in here because again, if our luggage does get lost, he's gonna need a jacket. So I put this in there um, because I care about him, okay. Our electronic cords, it's not completely full yet. Um, we have our external charger in here and then we have some cords. We'll put uh, obviously our phone cords in here our my apple watch charger cord a couple of things like that and all those kinds of things we'll put those in here uh like right before we leave so that is what's in my carry-on suitcase so now we're going to transition into carry-on items that will be on my person there's my well and so this is the backpack that i'm carrying on the plane and then the like fanny pack that i'm carrying on the plane so we'll go through each of these things this is my brita water bottle i always bring this when i travel because inside the straw is this little bada bing it's a filter and so whenever you drink it give or delivers you it delivers you it delivers you filtered water. If you like sometimes struggle with drinking water in different areas, if it upsets your belly, whatever, this is a great way to make sure that you can drink the local water, but without, you know, getting any sort of gastrointestinal distress. If you know, you know. I also have on the other side of this, um, I have a pack of tissues, some Clorox wipes. These are for wiping down like the seat, the airplane seat, the handrails, anything like that, because nasty and then these are just some fresh wipes for like face and body um if your hands feel grimy or whatever you need a quick you know zip on your face attached to my backpack with a little s clip this is a travel pillow i bought these on amazon um oh i can't open it i have it like tied here so i can't open it um all right well you'll just have to take my word for it it's a little neck travel neck pillow it's memory foam so you can squish it down and then when you take it out it like puffs up really big and i have a pair of earplugs in there and then also a sleeping mask so i sleep with earplugs and an uh, eye mask on every night so i need those all the time and i also utilize those on the plane obviously when you're trying to sleep because it's loud and noisy and bright so that's just my little sleep kit and i have that just clipped there into my backpack so inside my backpack i have um, these are like my travel snacks. So I have that package of Ritz crackers we talked about, some gum. Gotta have fresh breath. Um, and then I also have a package of nut, bow nut, bowder, nut butter, um, that ginger juice drink again to help with nausea. And then I also have my immune electrolytes. 
So these are the things that I will be taking like on the plane or like eating the day we leave. So that's why they're in my carry-on. I have a package of cards. These are phase 10. We're bringing these um, because our flight is really long. We have a layover in Seattle. So we also have like other things for enrichment on the plane, but um, cards is fun. I have a book that I haven't read yet. The Quarry Girl, Quarry, Quarry, The Quarry, Quarry Girls, Quarry. How do you, a walk, a rock quarry. Is it quarry? Why does that feel so weird in my mouth? The quarry, the quarry girl. I think it's quarry. The quarry girls. Anyways, my gosh, that was really hard for me. Um, so this is a new book. It's a thriller. So I am excited to read that. I can't read on the plane though. The pressure really gets to my head. So this is just like to be reading, like when we're waiting for the plane to come, we're waiting to board, whatever. Um, then I have, so because of that, I have my iPad. This is full of all the content all full of all the nature shows because you know how I love to watch my nature shows. So I have like three, two seasons of nature shows and a couple of movies on here. So this is what I'll be using on the plane. Then I have my laptop, come, come out. I have my laptop and this is my hard drive. Um, and so I'm gonna be doing some editing in like the terminal waiting for the plane. So I just have that with me on my person. I also have my charging stuff here. I have, this is my rather battered awful um plastic bag it's for my spare battery and memory cards so um, my spare battery is actually charging right now but i want to keep that in my carry-on in case the battery runs out because then we would have a break in conversation me and you and that would just be devastating um i also have my card reader in there for editing and then i have some earbuds these are the bluetooth earbuds i also actually am going to go to target and i'm going to buy some earbuds that plug in because i find those useful for when i edit so i can plug it into the laptop and like the people around me don't have to hear my melodious voice um, and also in case i want to watch anything that's like on the in-flight in -flight plane uh, like movie screen I can just plug it into the thing there okay so then the last things that I have in my carry-on backpack are like toiletry items so I have this um, makeup sort of case and then my like liquids um, so in my makeup case I have a pill case I saw this on a cruise um, this is look, isn't this cool so like all the different compartments and then they they just snap and the box itself is magnetic um, I saw this on a cruise like packing video so I have that then I have just some like makeup items so like an eyelash curler mascara some like bronzer sticks etc things like that this is an eyebrow pencil um, just like generic makeup things I have those in there so and also some face powder and then some lipstick I want to be able to have my makeup on me because when we went to Disney I had checked um, my makeup and then I lost it all so I have it here just in case we're good so have this is dry shampoo powder basically it's got like a little powder puff on it you like open it and like puff it boop, 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 along your hairline it's in a bag because it, like tends to get everywhere so it's in a little bag um i have a comb a nail file i also have a couple of pieces of jewelry in case i decide that i want to wear something else and a little deodorant um so that's what's in my like makeup bag uh let me show you my liquid bag and i think i'm gonna have to this is all things that i'm gonna be using day of so i might have to put a few of these in my liquid bag as well this is my like foundation that i used it's the bare minerals cc cream complexion rescue got that i have some sunscreen face sunscreen ysl perfume top tip is that um if you want to try a perfume out but you're not sure if it's right for you obviously you can get a sample or you can also buy the travel one and then if you decide that you like it after you've used it all up you can buy the full size um i find that full size perfumes are a long commitment they're like a several year commitment and sometimes that's too long for me says the woman who's been with the same man for almost uh 10 years <laughs> uh anyways i have some hand cream soap and glory because my hands are always dry hand sanitizer some face moisturizer and then i also have a face wash in here again i was like if my luggage gets lost i want to be able to wash my face moisturize my face so i have that and then also this is just argan oil it's in a little thing this is what i use when i style my hair and then last but not least is my little fanny pack so this is going to be like literally on me i'll probably be wearing it the whole flight um and these are things like that i wanted to have i could put them into the backpack but i just would rather have them on me i have some sunglasses wow you can see yourself in them hi okay so then i also have a mask 
this is the mask that I'll be wearing day of because like I said if I'm near anybody that I don't know I'm sitting really close to them I would like to have a mask um, I also have a pair of glasses because your girl is blind so I've got those for like those are for reading watching shows looking looking far far away um, I have those I've got a hair tie some lip balm it's important very important um, I have my C bands these I just wear all the time right when we like I get on the plane I sit down I buckle up I put them on because they help with nausea um, you put them like on your like a few fingers down like here and they have this like little point that like digs into your whatever your nerve there and it's for um, nausea travel sickness relief etc um, so these are my holy grail. This is my little mini, my little Mickey wallet. My friend Kathy got this for me. So whenever I travel, I bring this as my wallet because I obviously don't need like my entire wallet. So I have a couple of cards in there. I have my ID on the back. And um, then inside I have my vaccine card uh, because n no place is requiring vaccines, but a lot of the, the um, travel things that we read said that you should bring your vaccine card just in case. Um, a hair tie, some things like that. The key for my suitcase lock as well. I like clipped it in the bag here. Bada bing! She's a world traveler. Um, so I have my passport. So I have my passport and my wallet here together and then I'll put my phone in there as well with my boarding pass and everything. Um, but these are the things that I need to have on my person. So they're going into the fanny pack to be held close to my heart. Man, I think that's it. So that's it as though she says it was nothing. Um, this video is going to be like 25 like years long. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, wow, you're an actual saint. I appreciate it. I will report back on the things that I packed, particularly the outfits and the outerwear and things like that. And if I ended up using them or needing them or what my recommendations are in terms of like what to pack for Alaska. But yeah, I think I feel pretty secure in all the things that I have. I think I have all the things that we're going to need. So, um, now all we have to do is just go. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of Alaska content coming and I think that's it. So bye-bye for now. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.